Hey everyone, in this video I'm just going to do a quick demo of how to do a fix-up commit. Um, so in a code review uh, I had a suggestion to um, move something around. Um, so anyway, what I'm going to do is uh, implement that suggestion and commit it using a fix-up commit. So the original code that I want to modify was committed uh, at this first commit in my branch here. Um, so you can see I, I made a bunch of modifications to it, uh, but from the code review, I would like to add another modification and it'd be nice if it can end up in this same commit because it's in the same file and it's, it's pretty much the same as the other changes I was making. And that's what a fix up commit will let me do. So the first thing you need to do is actually just make your change. I may have kind of messed up what I need to do with the test, but that doesn't matter. I can fix it uh, after. Um, so I've saved my file. Uh, now all I need to do is just add or stage those changes like I normally would. So I could do that with git add, uh, or I'm using kind of git crack in here, so I can just click the add button. And then now what you want to do to make a fix up commit is you need the hash of the commit that you want to actually fix up. So that's in my case, this first one here in my branch. So I'm just going to copy it. Uh, you could, um, you could do git log, get the hashes of other things. Um, if you're uh, using the command line, uh, but anyway, uh, now what I need to do, uh, now that my changes are staged, I'll just show that on the command line. So my, my changes are staged here. I got to do git commit dash dash fix up and then paste in the hash of the commit that you want to fix up. Um, and then it's also a nice idea to do um, a dash M so you can add a little bit to this message. Um, moved. And there we go. Um, so if I go back to my history here, uh, it's now added that fix up commit at the top. And you'll notice that all of the fix up commits start with uh, fix up bang. And then the, uh, the first line of the commit message for the original commit that you wanted to fix up. Uh, that's done by git automatically with the dash dash fix up uh, flag there. But if for some reason you don't want to do that or, or, or whatever, you can also totally uh, just copy the first line of the commit that you want to fix up. So just the, like essentially kind of the title here for me, copy that. Um, and in your commit message, just do fix up bang and then paste in that first line and it'll do the same thing. Um, Cause the way Git figures out how to make the fix ups when you do the rebase is basically by the first line of the commit message. There's not really anything special in there. Um, so that's another way to do it as well. Uh, but it's easiest with the dash dash fix up for sure. One thing I forgot to mention initially is the procedure for actually pushing your commits and replying to feedback in GitLab. Um, what you want to do is after you've made your fix up commits, uh, push them. Then once you, only after you push them, do you want to copy the uh, commit hashes for your fix ups and then reply to your reviewers comments uh, with the commit hash. This only works if you've pushed before you try to comment, um, otherwise GitLab kind of gets confused. But posting the commit hashes is a really nice way to make it super easy to review your changes. Uh, so that's a really good thing to do because someone can just click on the commit, they can see exactly only the changes that were made in this fix up 